Hello my soccer universe, for a preview of the new Austrian Bundesliga season, actually it's the 51st season ever, it's also the 100th professional season in Austria, the most professional seasons of any country in Europe, outside of the British Islands, that is the season will go underway this Friday evening, 8.30. It's actually a big kickoff with newly promoted GAK or Grazer AK, if you would like, as it is usually called in English, hosting dethroned champions Salzburg. And this is probably the most interesting thing about this season. For the first time in 10 years, it is not Salzburg defending the title, but it's the city rivals of newly promoted GAK. It is Sturm Graz who actually dethroned Salzburg and were more or less the best team over this last season. And the big question, of course, is will it again be a head-to-head -head between those two or will there be other teams joining? There have been some interesting transfers happening in the west of Vienna, but also in Linz that might make this season quite interesting. However, the Austrian season already has started. Yes, Rapid and Austria already played European ties, second legs. Are happening as I am shooting this video but there was also a cup round on the past weekend and I'm showing you the results here the most eye-catching results is of course Hartberg going to Bischofshofen yes that's the site of the famous ski jump around the 6th of January usually 11-1 and this was a Hartberg team that lost quite a few players so this is a rather impressive result and yes we know that the third tier in the west of Austria is probably the weakest of the three third tier leagues that we had. We also had one upset, Altach being ousted by third tier Donaufeld, which is from Vienna. The third tier in the east is probably the strongest one that we have, so maybe did not cover as a total surprise, but still Altach not showing that they might build on what they promised from last season, they might actually get implicated from in relegation when we look at that. And then there were two other relatively tight results and both were the teams from Graz not shown here. GRK had to go to Felden in Kärnten, I think it was a fourth league team where they only managed to move on on penalties, so not boding well. And Sturm Graz, yes, they had many players returning from the Euro, so there was a short preparation time for them, but Krems gave them a real, real fight despite an early goal where the goalkeeper didn't look good for Krems. They take the one little, but Krems could twice equalize in the first half. The game went crazy and only in overtime champions and also defending cup champions Sturm Graz can move on. For the other results, Salzburg easy 6-0 over Dornbirn. Lask also did not do more than you would expect from a 3-0 at Gurten, a Gurten team that last season almost eliminated Rapid. Then you see Wolfsburg easy 7-0 at Strasbourg, Klagenfurt 5-0 at Klognitz. Blauweiß Linz at Wildon, a newly promoted third tier team, also 5 0. And then the two Vienna teams, also relatively easy. Austria Vienna against Pinzgau Saalfelden. For you short collectors out there, this is Pinzgau is a really interesting team, I would say. And Rapid also. Very routine performance getting a 2 0 at Neusiedl. We already know the ties for the next round, but due to European qualification going on, it is not quite fixed yet. Lask have to go to Union Mauer. We have an interesting one for Sturm Graz having to go to Ried, which is definitely not an easy draw for sure. I also like a small Vienna Derby with Donaufeld hosting Rapid. So Rapid more or less playing at home. I think Donaufeld play actually in the Happelstadion. Maybe they move to a smaller stadium right now. And also Hertha Wales hosting Blauweiß Linz. I think it's also an interesting one for someone from Upper Austria like I am. But let's go back to the Austria Bundesliga. Here are the 12 teams that are in the Bundesliga and their new stadiums. Usually in this preview I run through the stadiums. I don't need to. We have exactly the same stadiums because we have a stadium sharing situation in Graz between Sturm and GAK, which is not great. The story of GAK is of course a big one. They are technically the oldest team not being from Vienna. However, just That's 12 years ago, they were dissolved and to start in the eighth tier. And now they're back again. It's a huge name in the Austrian game. They definitely were missing 
at the very least because they add a touch of red to all the Austrian jerseys. Do you see how little red there is in the background? Yes, Austria is one of the few leagues where red is not very dominant. So at least this is happening through GRK, but they also bring a huge fan base. They brand it as the academic club, whereas Sturm is more or less the workman club that has a much larger reach. And of course, Sturm is now a much bigger team. And so we have not only a derby in Vienna, we have a derby in Graz and we have a derby in Linz. So the three biggest in Austria now have two teams which I think is really good for the league. Yes we lose the Derby in Fallberg with Lustena being relegated however those are two relatively small teams. I think overall the teams that are in there look really good. I think the one team that I don't dislike but the stadium situation is so annoying is Tirol. They play in Innsbruck, they're playing not in the home ground, they barely have fans. That's really the one team where I would say they don't really fit there. Hardback, meanwhile, deserve being there. However, they also need to look at the stadium situation. It's the smallest stadium in the league. Maybe the other stadium that is not up to snuff is probably the one in Wolfsberg that needs to be also redone. As for coaching changes, there were four changes in the summer break, if you would like. The most prominent one is, of course, at Red Bull Salzburg, where Pepin Leinders. Klopp's former assistant takes over from Onyo Chinel, who was the assistant for Ralf Rangnick, who was an interim coach after Struber got sacked after losing to Lusk. This is probably internationally the biggest appointment. However, nationally, Didi Kubauer going back after being a year ago sacked rather controversially from Lusk at the end of the season. He was on Lusk's book, had an entire year off. Now he's back at Wolfsburg. We actually made his name as a coach. So I'm really curious about uh, seeing this appointment. Kubauer is a really good coach within Austria. I think Wolfsburg might do much better this time around. They also had some very interesting transfers as well. For Austria Vienna we have Stefan Helm now taking over from Christian Wegleitner who was the interim coach at the end of the season who remains his assistant. And then another big one, the era Silberberg after 13 years is over at Tirol. He went to Admira Wacker in the second league, which I found interesting, but now it's Semlich taking over. But this is an appointment, this huge change after 13 years of a very charismatic coach that might point that Tyrol may be one of the teams that get relegated. Before we look at the expectations, I want to just run through the teams 1 through 12. What would be the expectations? I mean, for Sturm Graz is definitely to stay in a title race, not necessarily defending the title. I think with having Salzburg in the league, this is uh, probably asking a little bit too much. However, the biggest win for Sturm Graz was already that Chris Ilzer, the coach, and also Ashika, the sporting director, stay on despite having lucrative offers from abroad, especially Ilzer could have gone to Saudi Arabia, but that's not his style. So I expect Sturm to really push Salzburg again. They have now Champions League to play. We have to see how they will handle that, but you know, they're used to European commitments. Salzburg, anything but winning another title, that's the goal. That's absolutely goal and I think Salzburg have to be considered the big favorites for the league once more that they didn't win anything last year definitely irked them. So I would overall expect the Empire to strike back. Then we have two very interesting teams in my team, Lusk, who had a crazy transfer window, I gotta say. I mean, Boateng with all the negative and positive that it brings, but this is a major name entering the Austrian league, a world champion nonetheless, but also a whole lot of other small talents that were coming left and right. The question is, will they work? Is there enough time to get them to gel as a team in the cup game? They mostly relied on players from the previous season. So that's going to be interesting. And also Rapid Wien got their transfer of business done early. Got, for instance, Bola from the Hungary national team. Think they have added quite intelligently as well, which is something I have not said very often in the past for Rapid. So I would expect Lask and Rapid potential challengers, at least to the Sturm Graz position as the second favorite. If we're lucky, we get a four-way race. In the end, I think it's probably down to Salzburg how well they perform, how this league will go. Then we have the two sensational teams from last season, Hartberg and Klagenfurt. Hartberg lost a few players, but keep shop on. So the style will remain the same and I would expect Hartberg to really push again for a top six place. The big thing is they need to resolve the stadium situation because if that doesn't get resolved, they will get relegated. It's as simple as that. And then we have Klagenfurt who lost tons of players. And for the first time since their Bundesliga, so this is after three seasons, I think they will not make the top six this, this time around. But I still think with Peter Parkold being a really good coach, they will stay in the league, but just about. Wolfsburg and Austria are definitely want to come back. 
into the top six. One of those I think will make it. They will fight probably with Hartberg. I think Hartberg, Wolfsburg and Austria Vienna. Those are the three teams that will fight for the remaining two spots in the top six. I think the other four will make it relatively easily. That's at least what I would expect. And then we have all the teams playing against relegation. I add Klangfurt in there. Blau Weiss had a great first season back in the Bundesliga, but now you have to confirm it and you know it's always this difficult second year. If they survive this year, I can see Blau Weiss staying in the league for quite a while and despite them being the local runs, I actually think they are in reaching the league way more than for instance a Tirol or even Alta, who are now mainstays already in the Bundesliga, do because they bring the big city crowd, of course. Alta. I would say last season was really disappointing for them. The Joachim Standfest is staying on, but I think he's already under the pressure. Altach wants to push for the top six. Not sure if they will be able to do that. But you know, I let myself surprised. For me, the biggest relegation candidate is Tirol because of the fact that Silberberger moving out and you know many changes there as well. And I don't know what to think about GRK. However, I think they could play a similar season as Blau as Linz did last season. So I don't think they will necessarily get implicated into a relegation battle. For the regular season, and you know, the Austrian league has a two-tier season. We have a first uh, regular season where you have a top six and a bottom six. For the regular season, I expect, of course, the big names in there according to my model and this is now the ELO rating and the odds, the errors on the side show that the changes from what we had from the previous regular season where for instance Rapid Wien only finished six so they would move two up. But they're in the top four. You have Salzburg a clear favorite for the top spot and you see already Sturm Graz maybe slightly ahead of Lask, slightly ahead of Rapid but it's those four and then I would say Austria Wien, Wolfsberg, Hartberg, potentially Klagenfurt to move into the top six and at the bottom four I would say I against relegation and you already see Tirol in there. You also see Blava is hmm, dangling there a little bit. Final standings, of course, the same order. Now the arrows actually reflect the standings from the previous final standings. So Salzburg would win the title three points ahead of Sturm. It is tight because points get halved after the regular season. And then we got to see whether it will be last Rapid and so on and so forth. Curious enough, the bookmakers have Lask at second on an aggregate score, which I'm not quite sure if I can buy that. I would love it, to be honest. I have the feeling that the club is pushing now to make a title push for the first time. I think it's a little bit too early, I feel. But yeah, we'll see. On the bottom, as I said, Tyrol on favorite to go down. Here are the first fixtures, as I said, it kicks off with Promoter GRK hosting Red Bull Salzburg and then we have a big one on Sunday between Rapid and Sturm Graz. This is probably the most atmospheric game in all of Austria. We have also a West Derby between Altach and Tyrol and Lask go to Hartberg where, you know, they just bought their top striker from and now they start in Hartberg, which was never a pleasant opponent. We finally won there after a long time in the past playoff round. And Blauweiss Linz host Austria Vienna, which was the last game of last season where I was at. And we also have a Kärnten Derby to start. So I think it's a really interesting first round, I gotta say. The two get the Vienna teams play, of course, on Sunday because they are playing in Europe. I'm ready for this Bundesliga season to start. I'm really curious how this last team will perform. Again, if they make top three, I would be more than happy if they make even a second spot. That would be the icing on the cake. But I can also see with Lask, it can always go downhill as well. Like last season, where we looked very safe in the third place, maybe even pushing for a second or a third. And then the beginning of this year did not work out well. So we got to see how this is going. So this is my personal view on Lask. Third place would be great. Please let me know who you think will win the Austrian league. How do you see the league pan out? Will we get a solo by Salzburg or will we get a duel, a triple title race, or maybe even four teams in there? Let's see. Talk to you soon about more stuff in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!